Hey, what's going on, y'all? Hope everyone's having a fabulous day. If you haven't gotten a chance to subscribe to this channel, please do so. I want you to ring that notification bell. That way, when I drop a video, you'll be notified. I want to share with you a company that I use to help people build credit. It's called My Jewelers Club. It's a membership. Now, with this membership, you pay $99 and you'll have access to their membership or their revolving line of credit and when you get this revolving line of credit it's going to report to TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax if you don't know the difference between a revolving line of credit first I want you to understand there's two different types of credits one is going to be an installment loan another is going to be a revolving line of credit and a revolving line of credit is going to have more impact on your credit score in general than an installment loan. Comparing apples to apples, meaning that, you know, today, day one, we pick up a, a revolving line of credit versus an installment loan today that's picked up. They're, the revolving line of credit is going to have more impact. So I usually try to make sure that you have four to five revolving lines of credit on your credit report on your foundation when you're just building credit and these are one of the lines of credit that I use to help you build your credit like I said it's a five thousand dollar revolving line of credit it reports to TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax so it reports to all three credit bureaus now when you pay your ninety nine dollars that is just your membership fee you're gonna have to pay that on a yearly basis that just gives you access to their products now at that point it becomes a merchant account just like if you have an account with Walmart uh, let's say Target or any store card where you go in and you can only use that credit that line of credit for that particular store so with this once you become a member you're able to pick up that five thousand dollar trade line and what you want to do is you want to go out and you want to get you something now what you're going to have to do is probably put 50% down on whatever item that you get. So I usually tell people, you know, get something that's right around, you know, 120 bucks. Um, you're going to have to put $60 down and then you're going to finance the remaining $60. Okay, and it usually it's going to be right around $35, something like that for three months. And you pay that off maybe it's two or three months it's it's not a long time that you're gonna have to pay on this item but it's usually two or three months but that five thousand dollar trade line is still going to be on your credit report now how I use this with people that already have credit when I have people that come to me and they tell me that they're in a situation where they have a lot of credit unsecured credit already however they're just not sure how to boost their credit score up their utilization rate is really high on their credit cards I use this company to lower their utilization rate so even if you have unsecured credit already chances are this company can help you if your utilization rates are too high now there's this saying that you want to be 30 percent or lower on your credit cards I want you to understand something that once you get around that 30 percent that's too high okay so what I usually tell people is you want to stay anywhere between two to ten percent utilization rates on your on your credit cards whether it's unsecured or secured you don't want to go out and spend a whole bunch of money on your secured or unsecured credit cards just for the sake of listening to what a banker has told you for some reason I'm having a lot of people come to me telling me that you know XYZ company told them that what they want to do is you know use as much credit as they can that way it will increase their limit that is not going to increase your limit any more than let's say you using your credit properly okay if you use your credit properly it is of my belief that you're going to um, have credit limit increases the same okay but you're just gonna look a little bit more responsible because there is something called a bankruptcy score you guys can actually google that and the more utilization um, the more risk that they see you as a potential person of filing bankruptcy 
So that utilization rate, that is a huge factor in determining your FICO score. So I always like to teach people how to use credit the right way, regardless if you're trying to get limit increases or not. And with this company, chances are you're not going to ever put yourself in a situation where you're going to have a high utilization rate if this is on your credit card. So if you have a situation where you have, you know, a couple of $300 secure credit cards and you max them out, what this company is going to do is going to lower your utilization rate probably to about 1%. Okay, it's going to be a very minimum amount because you have a credit line with such a high limit. Now, when you are applying for credit and you go out and you get you a couple of secure credit cards, there is no financial institution that's going to want to be the first one to, to extend you a large amount of credit, right, to give you a high limit credit card. When you get a company like My Jewelers, what it does, it, it helps the underwriting process, right, or the, the algorithm, whatever, the, you know, credit card you're applying for next, look at it and see what is your higher, highest limit. And it's going to be right around your highest limit. So another benefit with joining this membership is the fact that when you apply for credit, you're going to, the chances are you're going to get a higher limit unsecured credit card when you apply and so that's another reason why I really really like this membership now a lot of times people ask me well what is it gonna take I have bad credit please understand it's not going to take a lot to get approved for this credit as you can see how it works um, when you look at it you know as long as you're 18 years old you have a household income of fourteen hundred dollars chances are you're going to be able to get qualified for this card anyway so I want you guys to understand it's not a hard qualification um, as long as you have a job chances are you make over fourteen hundred dollars a month as long as you're a US citizen and you're not in a current bankruptcy you do you can qualify for this for this membership okay and I, that's how I want you to to look at it as a membership now when you will start getting items like I said you don't want to get anything expensive they have a lot of different items as you could see I ended up getting this watch from them I believe my watch was hundred and twenty dollars I signed up put my ninety nine dollars down and then what I did was I I believe it was like thirty bucks for two months and my watch was was paid off because I had to put half of it down also so I paid the 99 I put the 50% down and then I had to pay the $35 over the I think it was two months or something like that my watch was paid off however even though I haven't purchased anything else from this company when every year comes by I pay my $99 and I keep this $5,000 trade line on my credit report and people will say well why would you keep that this is something that I can keep on my credit report $99 that is not too much for me um, to spend on a yearly basis to get a $5,000 trade line on my credit report I believe that's fair you put $5,000 on my credit report and I'm gonna keep this trade line as long as I possibly can as long as they're in business I'm gonna pay that membership fee so I don't have a problem with that that's one of the things that I really really like about this membership that even though you know you pay the ninety nine dollars and you don't purchase anything you can still keep that five thousand dollar trade line so this is one of those companies that I really really like like I said it's a revolving line of credit reports to all three credit bureaus some of you don't know the difference between a revolving line of credit and an installment loan a revolving line of credit is going to have more impact on your credit score than an installment loan so a revolving line of credit is anything like a credit card a line of credit if you are having payments that fluctuate due to your balance chances are that's a revolving line of credit if you have a fixed amount like an auto loan a personal loan something like that is considered an installment loan and it's not gonna have as much impact as a revolving line of credit 
And so what I always like to do when I'm, I have a client and they're just building credit, one of the first things that I like to do is start with revolving lines of credit. Usually what I'll do is I'll tell them to go out and get a couple of secure credit cards and I'll recommend a couple of secure credit cards. In fact, if you go in the description of this video, there's a link that I have a comparison of all the secure credit cards. It's, you don't have to put your email address in or anything like that. All you have to do is just go in and I made a comparison of all the secure credit cards and you could just go ahead and take a look at that. And you'll be able to see the fees and you know which cards graduate and stuff like that. So go in the description, click the link and you'll be able to see the secure credit cards. Now if I had a choice between secure credit cards and this um, merchant account, I would choose a secure credit card because with the secure credit card you are going to learn the discipline of credit. Learning how to keep your balances low is a skill. You're not going to be able to just pick that up overnight. And I know most of you go, well, you know, if you give me a $10,000 credit card, I won't go over 10%. Yes, you will. All right. And if you have, if you don't have experience dealing with credit, the discipline is uh, of dealing with credit is a skill and the reason why I start people out with secure credit cards is because I'm trying to train them on how to deal with credit now if you have a two hundred dollar secure credit card and you're at fifty percent meaning you're spending a hundred dollars on your your secure credit card I could pretty much guarantee you if I give you a ten thousand dollar credit card you're gonna spend fifty percent of that that's just the way it is and so it's easier for me to train you on a secure credit card of two hundred dollars than it is for me to train you on a on an unsecured credit card of five thousand so when you have these people that say you know what um just skip the secure credit card and just go straight to merchant accounts like this and get you these merchant accounts that have, that give you these high limits so you can get a high secure credit card chances are you're just learning before you learn how to ride a bike you're jumping on a motorcycle and that's why I use secure credit cards before I use merchant accounts like this it's really important for you to understand that secure credit cards come first or if you can get you an unsecure credit card like a discover it uh, or a capital one then great go ahead get those unsecure credit cards but once you get those unsecured credit cards chances are you're not gonna have a high limit on those unsecured credit cards but what they but what you can do is put an item like this on your credit report and when you come up for review which most secure or uh, secured or unsecured credit cards do on a yearly basis sometimes it's seven months sometimes it's 12 months if you click that link you'll see that also um, when they go through their review and they see that you're building credit and they have these higher limit um, unsecured lines of credit because this is considered an unsecured line of credit chances are they're going to graduate your secure card if your card is is already unsecured card chances are when they give you a limit increase it's going to be a lot higher than if you still have these low balance secure credit cards or low balance unsecured credit cards so this like I said this is one of those companies that I really like um, I get a lot of people that ask me what what is that membership company and I wanted to make a video of why I use uh, my, uh, my jewelers club and how I use my jewelers club and how it could benefit you like I said it's a easy approval um, chances are if you guys um, take a look at this um, it, there is a way that you can use it to benefit you in your situation even if you you already have experience dealing with credit this company is going to help you build your credit it's gonna help you establish a good solid foundation so that way when you start applying for credit they're gonna already see that you have experience dealing with revolving lines of credit okay I, I'm not gonna make this a long video I just wanted to touch bases with you guys and show you guys this company my jewelers club and hopefully it helps you out I do have an affiliate link in the description if you guys use the affiliate link it helps the channel grow um, but you do not have to use the affiliate link alright now if you use it uh, my jewelers club they pay me a small commission I believe it's like 30 bucks or something like that 
but it has nothing to do with your membership this is something that they pay me out of their pockets okay so i really appreciate your guys' time and uh, i'm gonna catch you guys on the next video all right talk to you later bye bye